welcome to jmr talks at the outset let me wish all the women a happy women's day in this talk we will discuss about the purpose of you know celebrating international women's day some of the greatest you know women who contributed to the society and also the problems you know women employees face in the police and the transport department and then we conclude with a passionate appeal to all for creating a gender equality day for a sustainable tomorrow so why international women's day this was started somewhere in 1900 and every year on march 8 we are celebrating international women's day the object of celebrating international women's day or we call iwd is about gender equality and work together to emphasize the need to ensure gender equality and work together and what about this year's theme this year's theme is creating a gender equal world a world an environment where there is no discrimination based on what the gender right one might ask that what is so special about women women that epitome of you know grace and intelligence think of you know what called the women you know who contributed look at what called kalpana chawla look at sunita williams look at vijay lakshmi pandit or kiran bedi the first ips officer sister nivedita the debate the disciple of you know swami vivekananda the bhanu athaiya the first oscar winner then amrit kaur the first cabinet minister at the center and sarojini naidu the first women governor of portugal up so all these you know i mean women known for their grace known for their intelligence they did extremely well and the beauty of you know the women is that they are excellent communicators like in hindi we say bagar bole bol diye sometimes they don't even want to express it but they have the ability to what call you know communicate what they intend to they are also known for their leadership qualities look at angela markel or indra noi or to that extent you know rani lakshmi bai the first you know what of a lady to fight to fight in what of indian freedom movement and last but not the least they are brilliant financial experts in economics we say that means are limited but ends are unlimited the beauty of you know women is that she knows how to make for the both the ends meet despite having a stringent you know what called budget she knows how to what called satisfy all the stakeholders and all that you now let us briefly look at the challenges you know women employees face in the police and the transport departments the beauty of you know women when they are part of the police is that they are less likely to use excessive force they are compassionate they are highly skillful in addressing the violence and they play a key role in improving police community relations because of their empathetic attitude and they are they have excellent superior problem solving skills all this is fine but don't they have any issue in the police department yes whether it is police department or any other department they have the work family what about conflict with a consequent stress so what is that you know we could do to create an environment you know where they can come they can come they can work you know with ease without any what of stress so coming to the women bus conductors some of them have joined on you know because you know they are either spouses in fact their parents or you know in search of job and all that one major challenge women bus conductors what i have come across is that work overload and they get you know musculoskeletal letal pain in their legs in their ankle feet knees etc thighs etc etc because you know they need to work and stand constantly for hours together and all that so what needs to be done when we recruit what are women employees make a longer short list so that you know they we can pick up the best you have the what are the options more second let us you know get out of you know the notion that gender you know makes a difference in terms of the pay they are equally capable of you know contributing so let us remove the gender based 
gap. Third, when we are recruiting the people, let us look at their capability, their skills, their ability to work or deliver the goods rather than at the gender. Next, let's make work-life balance priority. One company, Jurage, when they made work-life balance as a priority, they found 16% increase in the women applications. Now, government, you know, brought out so many what are called social legislations. Why not implement them in letter and spirit and improve the facilities exclusively? When I am thinking of, you know, International Women's Day and the contribution of, you know, the woman, immediately my wife and my daughter, they come to my mind. The way, you know, they balance, they work life balance. The way, you know, they handle both the responsibilities at home and what about at office. I salute them. I am happy that, you know, I could play a small role in facilitating their work life balance. On this International Women's Day, let us all what about, resolve to create an environment of gender equal day. The beauty of you know these great women that no matter even if it takes a while, they handle their responsibilities with smile. So can we all come together to create an environment of gender equal day? Look at this photograph. This I have you know I mean uh, captured you know in a sandstorm in Rajasthan. What is the message you know the photo? I mean, conveys to us. Coming together is beginning. Being together is progress. But working together is success. How this, you know, group of women came together to withstand the vertical sandstorm? The only message it conveys to all of us is that when we all put together, sincerely work, with utmost devotion, commitment and conviction, we can definitely succeed in creating a gender equal day for sustainable tomorrow. So once again, take my heartfelt you know, congratulations for all the women for their contribution in building a stronger society, healthy society and a happy society and convey them all uh, my International Women's Day greeting. Thank you.